Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Cougared. My name is Mitch Cougar, and you know what time it is. It's time for Cougar Interviews! Alright, so this week we had a huge Tuesday poll where we had four movies go up for a round robin elimination. Now, we had three new movies and a returning movie for review redemption. Now, the four movies in question were Cold Pursuit. We also had On the Basis of Sex. We also had Escape Room. And returning for review redemption was The Hate You Give. Now, all four movies easily, easily could have been chosen for this week. But, you know, I'm going to skip through it all and da 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 The movie that came out on top was Escape Room. Am I surprised that it won, to be honest? No, because let's be honest with each other. Escape Rooms are so, so, so much fun. There are so many people in the world right now who have either done one or want to do an Escape Room. And I think the companies are, that made this movie are geniuses for getting on that hype of Escape Rooms because... Let's be real, who doesn't want to be trapped in a room and have to use all their wit and cunning to escape? If not you, you're lame. Anyway, I've done a few escape rooms and they're fantastic, but the only thing that sets escape rooms apart from really feeling like you're trapped is the fact that there's a time limit, so you're gonna get out. You will get out no matter what because that's how they work. And this movie really breaks that boundary in a really fantastic way. I thought the movie was really, really good because as someone who likes escape rooms, this movie, excuse me, <laughs> was written to perfection for me in terms of what I want from an escape room. You know, I don't want to die, but I don't want to know that I won't. Now, people who know me know that I live by that mantra. And we all know it means a different thing, but we won't get into that. So in an escape room, if you have that feeling, you're going to love it. And that is what this movie does to the characters in the movie, obviously. And what I liked was the rooms themselves were really, really cool, you know. And the clues weren't difficult because they're not supposed to be but they weren't easy to obtain either. You know, every single character played a role in finding clues and progressing and stuff like that. And, you know, that's good writing as well. You know, they didn't just overshadow a couple of characters. And, you know, they, they were obviously like the main people. Um, and that was just about prior development, I think, more than anything. But my all time favorite part of this movie is the fact that it, to me, is the M-rated Saw. And that is what I loved because I I like the Saw movies, but it got it's gotten to a point where basically they just want to show you the most brutal way to murder someone. And I think that's dumb. That's uninteresting. That's not, you know, that's not exciting to me. That's not something I want to go and watch because that's... It's boring. That is actually a boring thing to do. I'm not just going to sit there and be like, yes, I loved all that blood and gore. That's, that's not, that's stupid to me. And that's what I really liked about Escape Room. It wasn't about people dying and getting murdered in the most brutal way possible. It was about these people fighting for their lives to get out. And that is really good. You know, if they had not made it gory and bloody and stuff, I would have hated it. I really would have, because then it would have just been a ripoff of Saw. But it's not. It really is its own m movie. And, you know, I can see them making sequels. Um, and by this, I mean, you know, straight to DVD ones. They might, they may get on the bandwagon and do like straight to DVD movies. And that would be dumb. But, you know, it is something, it is a franchise that they could really take off and really create more instances. I just hope they don't take it down the saw path and make it bloody and gory because, you know, that is why it was great in my opinion. All right, so I'll, I'll stop rambling about it, but if you want to go and see it, which I think you will because this to me is something that everyone's going to want to watch because people who want to see an escape room are going to go, oh, I wish I was like that because I would just be breaking out. And um, yeah, I think you should go and see it. It was really, really interesting to watch because you just weren't sure what was going to happen. It was, 
It was very predictable with a lot of unpredictability. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter. Go and watch the movie. Cougars Reviews is going to give it four stars. Definitely four stars. You know, the, the lack of big name actors and, you know, slightly predictable... I don't want to say ending, but there was some predictabilities where you're like, that's going to happen, and then it did. So that's why it doesn't get five stars to me, because, like I said, the way this movie is and is written, like the storyline, for me was perfect. Personally. That's a personal opinion. And that's just because I love escape movies. But anyway, we'll wrap it up. So don't forget to subscribe to all of my social medias. Get Cougar on Facebook, Mitch Cougar, one word for my Snapchat and Cougs, reviews with Zs for my Instagram. And all of my videos will be uploaded to YouTube for your re-viewing pleasure. All right, have a good day and a good weekend, guys. See you later. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it's time for Cougs reviews.